Hello there, folks. What you are seeing right now is that I haven't started Mega Man's, the game of Mega Man 7 yet. Because before we started, before we get started on Mega Man 7, this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. Hopefully I will be doing Mega Man 8, 9, and 10 pretty soon. Cause, but Mega Man 8, for the Mega Man 8 premiere, that's going to have to wait till like after my 22nd birthday. Which is because of the, uh, because uh, 2021 last year is unfortunately the same worst year like 2020. Yeah, because I wasn't able to get Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 yet cause on Christmas because... Because my money is running shortage because unfortunately my job is still not applied yet. Unfortunately, so so the Mega if I'm gonna have to do a Mega Man A premiere, that's on the Mega Man Legacy Collection 2, right to my TV. You know what? That's gonna have to wait until that Mega Man A premiere is gonna have to wait until like after like, after my 22nd birthday, it's going to have to, if I'm going to have to do it, it's going to have to wait until, like, after my 22nd birthday. It's very unfortunate. And also, I will, and I would also like to give out uh, some information about the, about the Mega Man 7 premiere being postponed earlier in December. Because of a possible threat of a major tornado outbreak that happened in the, the Quad States, including the Midwestern United States and in the Southeastern United States in the whole month, throughout the month of December 2021, including New Year's Day. That's why the Mega Man 7 premiere from Christmas Day and New Year's Day got postponed until now. As for today... On Saturday, January 8th, 2022. Which I'm hoping that this will be the year where we're going to... Hopefully that 2022 is the year that we have to get out of this pandemic. That we shall end this pandemic together. Because March 11, 2022 marks the second year of year of the COVID-19 being declared as a pandemic since March 11, 2020. It happened. Yeah, and that virus began to spread across the whole entire country of the United States. And also, before we start, for the past two weeks... Cases of COVID across the United States has worsened. There's about over 56 million people across the entire country have been infected but are still fighting for their lives. But 56 million people are starting, starting, to, are starting to fight their lives. They're still fighting for their lives and Hopefully they're going to have to recover very quickly because and I'm hoping that this virus situation doesn't escalate any further. But unfortunately, unfortunately, only like 800,000 people across the United States have lost their lives. Cause, which is unfortunate. And by the time March 11, 22 comes, this, this will mark the second year of the 
COVID-19 being declared as a pandemic after two years ago. Since 2020, we started being in a pandemic. But hopefully, hopefully 2022 should be the year that we should end this pandemic. Hopefully by that by that said, hopefully we get to hope we get to overcome and combat this virus cause and please if you have not get vaccinated, do so immediately. The vaccine will save the lives of others to prevent you from getting sick. Hopefully you'll Hopefully the symptoms should not be that bad. Because once vaccinated, it should not give you any problems. Hopefully the vaccine should not give any problems. So once you're vaccinated twice, you gotta wait eight months till you get that flu shot and the booster. So that way we should It'll boost up the effectiveness. It'll boost up the vaccine effectiveness against it. Everything for the vaccine is always safe and effective. It's still proved to be safe, including the booster, which is available now for emergency use. Because if you're not vaccinated, just just please wear a mask. It's that simple. Because please get vaccinated. Please get vaccinated immediately. If you do not, if you do not get the vaccine, then you're putting your life in extreme danger. So with that being said, so when I've said, let's get on with this premiere for the moment you've all been waiting for. There we go. In the year 20 double X AD. The world cheered Mega Man when at long last he captured and imprison Dr. Wiley. But, Dr. Wiley always knew his schemes might end in failure. and had planned for just such an occasion. Four robots had been hidden away and after six months, without being contacted by Dr. Wiley, they activate and begin searching for their master. Oh. 
Uh-oh. Welcome, everybody, to Mega Man 7. That's right. We went moved from 8-bit now to the 16-bit version of Mega Man 7. This is it. Without further ado, let's begin. Can't this thing go any faster, Auto? The city is under attack. I'll try and punch it up a notch. Hold on, Roll. I can't believe Wario is loose again. Won't this madman never stop? He won't be loose for long. Once Dr. Light gives Rush and me our new enhancements, Wily is history. Whoa, end of the line. The road is too unstable to keep going. You two wait here. Mega Man, take this helmet with you. Uh. <laughs> really? <laughs> I guess not. Personally, I kind of like the other one. Good luck, Mega Man. <laughs> Doctor, are you okay? I'll bring back Roll to take care of you. <laughs> no, Mega Man. We have no time. While he is using the attack of his robots to cover his escape, look. Man, that madman Wiley. I knew it was going to be him all along. You got to go now, Mega Man. Get Rush and follow Wiley's spaceship. There we go. Let's begin Mega Man 7. Here we go. This is the first time you get to see me do an intro stage on this premiere. Make sure you got dodge the, dodge the boss's attack. You are as good as they say, Mega Man. <laughs> you better, you better tell me who you are. <laughs> I'm Baze, and he is Treble. We have been trying to stop Doctor Wiry while you were gone. I see now that you don't need our help. Oh, Baze. That's kind of interesting. Okay, there's our battle screen. Now, here we go. We have the first... They only show the first four robot masters. They'll show the other four once we completed the first half. So, here are the first four. We got... Freeze Man, Junk Man, Burst Man, and Cloud Man. What I'm going to start off first in the first half is Freeze Man.
All right. Looking good. All right. All right. We got to I can make it a little better. I can stand up quickly. There we go. These are your new menu screens that you're going to see. They also had new features to this one. They also had the number of balls that you collected. There's a, they also have energy balancers and a rocket, rocket puncher for the super adapter, which we needed to spell out. We need to spell out rush for these letter plates in order to unlock it. We also got the number of beats that we have in order to rescue beat. We had to go to, we had to rescue beat on slash man stage. And he also got the new exit sign, which we will get to it. We will add that on the freeze man stage. But in order to do that, you're gonna need a special rush item never seen before. We also got new new tanks that we have. One that we've seen before. We got energy tanks, weapon tanks, and special tanks. So oh. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but, but that's okay. There we go. Found a letter H plate. Okay, now we can use that. Can use our squirrel again in order to get up there. And there we go. Now I'm going to grab an E-Tank. Oh, I can get up there. Alright, now we get the number of bolts. This is what I'm going to introduce to you. This is Rush Search. He searches items where he can dig stuff, where he can find items on the ground. And if you see him bark twice, that means he found something very rare. Like the exit sign. That's the one that we're looking for. They also have one at the shop, but unfortunately, instead of spending bolts to get that, you can use Rush Search and find the exit sign. You can get it for free. Now here we go. 
Now we're fighting against Freeze Man. Now his special weapon is the Freeze Cracker, because because if the Freeze Cracker hits you, because you might end up getting frozen solid, because which is the worst part. The worst part of getting frozen. Because once that happens, you'll be able to take take twice the amount of damage. And there you go. The freeze cracker fires ice bullets, doesn't it? Yes, and the bullets will split when they hit the ground. Now we obtained the, the freeze cracker as our first one. Now we go to the next one, Burst Man. This premiere is going to be a very, very, very long premiere. Alright, there we go. And this is one you may be familiar with Mega Man 6, but... Because you may be familiar with this one from Mega Man 6 like that. Well, this is... There's a 16-bit version to this. If you want to avoid taking damage, you gotta jump. Make sure you move away from this one. Okay. Fill up rush coil just in case they drop one. Yep. Okay, we can just wait for it. This is something you don't see. There's a 
There's a 16-bit version of the Bricks one from Mega Man 7. This is the one you don't see. You don't even see that often. Yep, there we go. Now we get the letter R plate. Ow. Looking pretty good. Uh, I can't get the health part. Now, before we move on to, to fight against Burst Man, this is what the Freeze Cracker looks like. See, it's used out of snowflake, but will split when they hit the wall or they hit the ground like this. It can shoot anything. This one is also useful on, on some of the stages to freeze the lavas. Yeah, now we're fighting against Burst Man because because he has multiple weakness between Freeze Cracker and Scorch Wheel, which I don't have. I only have Freeze Cracker as his weakness. And his one is the danger wrap. Ooh, ooh. Ah! Got caught in a. Now I'm gonna have to get more lives that I lost. I thought I was going to not lose any lives, but unfortunately, I, I was unable to do no lives lost at the moment due to being caught in a danger wrap. <sighs> yeah, because I wasn't fast enough. There we go. That takes care of him. Yeah, because if you if you get caught in a danger app and hit that spike, that's instant death. The danger rap fires out a bomb in case and a bubble, doesn't it? Yes, but it can also be used to encase other things besides bombs. In order to go to the... There's a second choice. In order to go to the, to the shop, you press the select button like this. Then it takes you to the shop. That's something that you don't see that often. Welcome to Big Gaddy's. I'm Arnold, Dr. White's number one student. Unfortunately, I've lost one of my bolts, and so I have a, a couple of screws loose. If you find my hyper bolt, I would appreciate it if you bring it back here. Anyway, I'll try my hardest. 
or make items out of any other bolts you may find. Select the item you want me to make. Okay, here's all the items there, which... Here we got an extra life there. Got an extra life. Which normally costs 40 bolts there, but will lower the cost when you find the hi his hyper bolt there. And there's an E tank where you can buy it, including a weapon tank. The exercise which we already have. And you also have beat beats whistle when you in case if you fell. Cause if if you fell into a hole like like if you fall into a the very high place, beat will come and pick you up and and take you somewhere else and around the map. And that's all we got, but unfortunately I can't get another extra life because I only, I only need ten more. Cause that don't that usually costs 40 bolts when you know it cost me 40 bolts to get that extra life back. That's been lost. Now I'm going to Cloudman stage. Hopefully we can get that extra life right over here. This is something you don't see because when you use a Mega Buster, back on the bottom of the map, this is where rain starts. But on the top, you use a freeze cracker, makes it snow. There we go. Wow. Wow, I just got one back. Now I don't now I don't have to go to the shop to get more cuz the yeah, one enemy just dropped just dropped the extra life there that I got back. That's been lost. Finally got my extra life back. That's been lost on the on the burst if you excuse the the few minute time loss on the on burst man stage. Cause, ooh, this is something that you find very rare. Cause, cause if if Rush finds a big gigantic bulk, it gives you one hundred bolts. It gives you a whopping one hundred bolts. These are pretty good for for farming bolts. Farming bolts is very important.
Okay. Now we're gonna go up there. You hear that whistle? We're meeting Proto Man. It's been a while, Mega Man. Here is a little information. Your weapons can be used to discover hidden areas. Try using the flame weapon in the woods. Aha! That explains a lot. That explains why. That's the way we gotta farm for bolts. Now we're gonna acquire the danger wrap. Before we battle against Cloudman, this is what the danger wrap looks like. It shoots out a bobble bubble but explodes but when you hold down there are two ways boom it explodes like that we're going against cloud man because see the only way you can prevent him from using his special attack is to use a bubble like that and oh, he's gonna fall all the way down to the ground And then that, boom, he hits the ground. Do the same thing. Repeat, repeat, repeat. And there you go. Yeah, because his special limit is the Thunderbolt, which, which comes out if he powers it up. And there it goes. Just to be a cloud man. That's it, it's not bad. The Thunderbolt fires out electrically charged spheres, right? Yes, and it can also be used to power some electronic machines. Yeah, we just obtained Thunderbolt as our third one. Now we're gonna go to this one, Junk Man. to do is I'm going to go up to the top because because I want to collect every other items so that way you don't have to do that stage over and over again once you go up there unleash your Thunderbolt boom it powers up the electronics makes the elect and that's where you get to ride like an elevator. Okay. Get rush coil in. And then you obtain rush jet. And I gotta... 
And for that, I'm going to have to take a death on this one because I have to get the, uh, the letter S plate right from the bottom. There's no need for going all lives lost in this one, so... There's still no rewards on going all lives lost on for this one. And there you go. Find the letter S plate. Alright. Boom. You can freeze that lava with that freeze cracker. He finds another something. Found another big bolt. Yeah, and get that RNG back, the one after I lost. Again. Well, there you go. Oh, after you collect all the the RUS and A circuit plates to spell out rush, you get to unlock this one, the super adapter. Which does it like this. Like that. If you press X twice, he can if you press jump twice, he can he can fly. But it's just temporary because he can only you can only fly for like for for just one second for like a short for a very short time because it only does that when it saves time when it saves time. Before we move on to battle against Juggernaut, this is what a fun ball used to look like. When you just uh, just showed you earlier, it shoots out electrically charged spheres, but when it, but once it hits up, it splits it in half. Now Bowman gets junk, man. Easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do it. Probably gets stuck. Me, it's super easy to do it. You can just simply dodge his attacks. Cause, I mean, what I can tell, he tried to try to attack me with his junk shield, but unfortunately, he did not succeed it very good. Cause, cause that's what happened to him. The junk shield will protect the user with rotating spheres, right? Yes, but the spheres can only absorb so much damage before they are destroyed. Like he said, we obtained the fourth one, the Junk Shield. Now we go to the next cutscene. Welcome home, Mega Man. Of course. I know I know what base uh, base's action is. His actions don't seem to indicate a threat. I don't believe he is our enemy. <laughs> what is this? Wiley is attacking the robot museum. What? <laughs> you must leave now, Mega Man. All right, let's just get to it. Instead of using a pause menu, you can use Q 
or E in order to switch weapons. So you don't have to pause it to switch weapons. Oh, there, go, there goes Wiley going after Guts Man as always. He's always obsessed with him. He's messed with the wrong robot masters always. Now we go to the robot museum mini boss. Ow. Well, it only took, it only took a little damage, but that's okay. Cause that, that robot museum boss's weakness was the danger wrap. Mega Man, it's a disaster. Wily and his robots are rampaging throughout the middle of the city. Get going. Of course. Of course, Wily is always rampaging again. This is the seventh time he's got to do that. Okay, now we have the second half of the A Robot Masters. We now have Spring Man. Slash Man, Shade Man, and Turbo Man. And what I'm going to start off with to make this go even quicker is... We're going to go with Turbo Man. Now we want to limit the Thunderbolt, cause... Adapter, always known as the super the super adapter. And then I gotta switch back. And then I gotta switch back to the adapter. search in order to find another rare item. There where we find the rocket puncher for the super adapter. Instead of spending like bolts on the rocket puncher, you can get it for free. Like that. We gotta go meet Proto Man right over here. Mega Man, have you collect have you collected the RUS and eight circuit plates? Yes. Cool, Be but remember, the Super Mega Man armor is too bulky to allow you to slide. Of course. <laughs> Good luck, Mega Man. I'll see you later if you survive. Of course we are gonna survive. You know. You know what Proto Man means. Okay, so go to the X mark, and he's found something good again.
found three gigantic balls. Which we already collected all over 300 balls already. That's fantastic. And this one is the nightmare of all. It's the, the flame boilers. And don't get the extra life right there. Because if you do, that's instant. Because if that flame catches you, that's instant death. Okay, now we're going to use that final ball. There you go. Yeah, that's where we ride on the truck, then boom, <laughs> it stops. Just obliterated the truck. Okay. I don't have Turbo Man's weakness, so I'm just gonna have to fight him with Buster only. The only way it could be Turbo Man is Buster only. And you gotta avoid his flaming part, which is the Scorch Wheel. And the Buster is gonna attack him like three times, like two or three times, because. See, this wheel's gonna squeal like that. Like a screeching noise. Like that. Make sure you dodge the, the scorch wheel, because if you end up touching you, you're gonna get that burn effect and you'll take many amount of damage as possible. That's another worst part. Now I've eaten Turbo Man. The Scorch Wheel launches a flaming wheel, right? Yes, and the wheel may also burn the things it touches. Now we obtain the fifth one, the Scorch Wheel. Okay, now we go to Robot Master number six. We go to Slash Man. Yeah, instead of just using Rush or anything like that, you could just use the adapter. Just, just, yeah, the adapter can do anything. Yeah, all I want to do is keep the adapter on because I don't want to use Rush there because using Rush there in the middle of this is is likely likewise very dangerous. Now we got our final E tank. And this is where we get to battle off that big dinosaur. Which is quite scary as you might say. Remember where we battled out that dinosaur from Rockman 4 minus infinity on my 100 sub special? Well, this is a 16 bit of the dinosaur. Because after using that, we can use that junk shield. Now 
there. <laughs> just, just that dinosaur just got obliterated. Now we're gonna use a sports wheel on this tree. And there we go. Once we get up to the top, you see B in the bird cage. That's where we gotta rescue B. And there we are. There it goes, beat. And there it is. There he is. We unlock four beats whistles. You can only get up to like four beat whistles only. Because once if you fall down. Cause... Okay, now, now we're going to acquire the Freeze Cracker again because the Slash Man has a major weakness. See, so like that. You got to slide over to where he was because because this way where, this where is something you don't see because... You see what's falling there is, is, I mean, I call that a, a falling ketchup. I don't want to, don't want that falling ketchup to land on you because, because otherwise you're not going to see a fame. And there you have it. Because it's. His special weapon is a slash call, which we're about to get, because since we defeat we defeated Slash Man. The slash call cuts things apart, doesn't it? Yes, but it has limited range. You're right, um, now we obtain the Slash Claw. Okay, now we go to number seven, Spring Man. This is something you don't see. Gonna get the adapter. Ow. Man, he punched so fast with the adapter. Oh my god. I know where the next gigantic Vogue's gonna hide at. It's gonna be this one. And yes it is.
And the one thing I know is if you eat, if your e tank is full, it will not make a sound effect after when your e tank is already full. Okay, the one thing you gotta do is go like this, and that's where you find all those hyperbolt, the one that he lost. We might have to give it to him at the at the shop. There we go. For this one, we're going to attain the Slash Claw. But before we get to battle against, uh, uh, S Spring Man, so. So, we're going to go over Junk Shield. This is what Junk Shield used to look like. It uses like a shield when. It is around you, but will absorb so much damage before they're destroyed. And press, press the fire button again, it'll release it. And we go to the Scorch Wheel. This is what the Scorch Wheel looks like. It shoots out a flaming wheel, but, but it may also burn the things like it touches. Like, but the one you saw before earlier, like a few minutes ago, you see the Scorch Wheel burning the trees. Creating a mass of fire. And the Slash Claw. And this is what a Slash Claw used to look like. See, it has limited range like that if you attack forward and backwards like that. Okay, now we're battling against Spring Man. This is where he has his springs there. You gotta make sure you gotta dodge it first. It's very easy to dodge his. You just gotta slide through. Slide and slide like that. Just keep repeating the same thing that you gotta do. There you have it. The wild coil launches one coil forward and one coil backward, right? Yes, but remember to charge the coils to make them jump higher. Now we obtain the seventh one, the wild coil. Now before we move on, we got to go to auto shop. And would you look at the number of bolts? This looks pretty impressive. I collected like almost 700 bolts. Hmm. Now I can work at full power. Look, a new item just for you. I can now make items using half the, the normal number of bolts. So like the item you want made. Okay, so now we got new items. But the only thing different about it is that the number of bolts were lowered. Like like with the extra life, 
it normally costs 40 volts, now it costs 20 volts to get to get an extra life. And the A tank usually costs 60 volts, now it costs 30 volts instead of 60. As well as the weapon tank, and now it costs 50 volts instead of 100. And with the exit sign, now it costs 100 instead of 200. We also got the beat, beats whistle, which usually costs like costs like 80 volts. Now it costs 40 volts instead of 80. Now we found a special can, which costs 80 volts for that. And the rush jet, which I already have, including rush search, which both of them are cost 120 volts for that. And the energy balancer, this costs like 240 volts to get that. And the hyper rocket buster, which is called, which we already have that, which normally costs a whopping 800 volts to get that. Now what I'm gonna buy is I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy the buy some weapon weapon tanks. I'm probably gonna buy just two weapon tanks, that's all, so, so now we're gonna go to the final part. Shade man. And we're already over like like an hour seven minutes already? Wow. I can tell that this is a very long gameplay. And those are the birds that you've seen before in all these Mega Man series before. But now the birds, birds are bad, whatever you want to call it, they don't look happy. And we... Yeah, let's just move on. What we're gonna get right now is the Proto Shield. We had to battle against Proto Man. This, this is also the time where we're gonna meet Proto Man. You just gotta go like this in order to go to the bottom. Cause I gotta battle Proto Man first. Boom. It cracks open. And this is where we find the last gigantic bolt. Just right over here. And there you have it. Now, we're going to equip the Mega Buster because we're about. Guess what it's time for? You heard the whistle. We're battling against Proto Man. So, brother, you are not as weak as I thought. Let's see which of us five are made stronger. Okay, here we go.
Si hubo que nada. Gotta wait for his signal before he could launch a buster. If you see him charging, wait for his signal. Wait for a signal now. And look at us go. Look at it. Look at we go. Maybe you are the superior model, Mega Man. Here, take this with you. This is your proto shield. You can't give this to me. It's okay. Take it and watch your back. And that's where we obtained the rarest item of all. The proto shield. That we got from Proto Man. Yeah, that is all the item we have. And this is what the Proto Shield used to look like there. When you hold it like that, because... See, it can deflect any Sniper Joe's weapons. It can obviously deflect Sniper Joe's weapons at all, at all costs. When you're facing against the Sniper Joe's, and if you use the Proto Shield, it can deflect any of the enemy's weapons. Which is the awesome part. Now I have to take a death on this one because I have to get the energy balancer on the other side. There we go. And there you go. Now we're gonna get the extra life back to one after we lost from again from the spikes. Yeah, you can just slide whenever you like to. Cause... Oh, that's okay. We could just use Rush Search over here. As long as Rush doesn't take any damage. And this is where we find the last one. We have found the last item. The energy balancer. You might have seen this item familiar from Mega Man 6. Now it's back in Mega Man 7. Okay, warning. There may be some foul language just coming from base, so be prepared to see it. Oh, God, I was careless. I feel so stupid to have been defeated so easily. Maybe I should give up and leave Wiley to you. <laughs> no, we are a team. Dr. Wiley will be glad to fix you up. Thanks, I'm glad that I have a friend like you. Oh, boy. I wonder what's gonna happen to base. <laughs> oh boy, I wonder what's gonna happen to base <laughs> if Dr. Light repairs him.
Okay. <laughs> now, before we move on against Shade Man, this is what the wild card used to look like. It shoots at a small coil, but when you charge it up, boom, it shoots at a big one. Now we're battling against Shade Man, so. When you're applying wild coil, you gotta make sure you go. You gotta stay in the middle and slide there. But once you get there, absolutely do not go into the corner unless you're guaranteed. Unless you want you want Shade Man to eat your points away. Which is not the most fun part. And there you have it. We just beat the last one, Shade Man. The noise crush generates a powerful sound wave, doesn't it? Yes, and you can amplify the wave by absorbing the reflected wave with your body. Indeed it is. We obtained the last one, the noise crush. Oh boy, I wonder what's gonna happen to base. Yep. Dr. Light, what happened? <laughs> yeah, this is the part where we go, oh, base betrayed us. <laughs> is that you, Mega Man? Base went berserk after I completed his repairs. He stole the parts for the new enhancements. Ah, oh, Face did that too? Oh my god. Face, I can't believe it. Yep, I know who's after this. Believe it, Mega Man. Face and Dribble are my creations. I knew that you would be stupid enough to trust him and allow him access to the lab. <laughs> now, Base and Dribble will use the enhancements meant for you and Rush. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you pay, Wily. Yeah, guess what we're gonna go for. Yep, it's victory lap time. Let's go to the Wily stages. Here we go. Oh, not that. With the adapter. Yeah, you can use the adapter to fly up there. I'm not gonna use rust yet. Now for a fact that this video is going to be much 
Yeah, that's the reason why we're here in Mega Man 7. Because I have a feeling that this video, of this premiere is going to be much, much longer than Mega Man 6. Yeah, whenever it gets that, gotta jump. Gotta jump in that and jump. And then you gotta fly up there. Since my A tank is already full, I don't have to grab that, so. Look at that, over 700 bolts, wow. Yep, we're battling against base. You are far too weak, Mega Man. While we may fear you, but I do not. Yep, I knew he betrayed us all along. I knew base would betray us. Wow, not bad. Round one goes to you, Mega Man, but I'll be back. Yeah, cause his weakness was the Yeah, base's weakness is the is the rocket puncher, the rocket adapter. Now we're gonna equip the slash claw. But before we move on, I'm gonna explain the noise crush. This is the last one. See? It's he it uses a sound powerful way, but when it gets to you, but whenever it goes back to you. If it hits the wall like that, it goes back to you, and it, it is also chargeable as well. And then press fire again, it unleashes a big sound wave like that. Okay, so now, move on to the big boss fight. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you can also use the bricks for that. And make sure you don't, don't want to get caught. Cause... Yeah, see that when you use that? Yeah, if you get caught in his, caught in his wrench, that's it's gonna make you, yeah, it's gonna, you're gonna take massive damage if you get hit by that. Eh. There you go, that's why we won from Mega Man 7. Now we're moving on to Wily 2. Yeah, my extra life is already full. I don't know why I get that, but it will not make a sound effect when an extra life is already full. Remember, if it's a weapon tank or a special tank or any other, any other special tanks you would get, it will not make a sound effect when it's full. And guess what? It's time for again. We're battling against base for the third time. There he is. Ah, my wait is over. This time the mighty Mega Man shall fall. Triple attack. 
Yeah, remember when we when we faced against base on my 100 subscriber special? Remember how we obliterated base so badly because because he tried to attack me with his attack with his power too, but unfortunately he didn't quite succeed at last time. Now he's now he's here to have his bloodthirsty revenge. Which I'm afraid it will not happen. <laughs> oh. I went to... Yeah, I went to... Yeah, I was too slow. Yeah, I jumped too high. Cause... Oh! What? <laughs> what are you doing, <laughs> Why? Why can't I destroy him? That's what Vase says. Why can't I destroy him? Cause you're still weak, Vase. Cause you're not you're not powerful enough. You're not even powerful enough. And besides, you you just keep using your fake power. <laughs> and because of that, Vase, you just can't destroy the bonds of friendship. Well, what's wrong with Bass <laughs> using his fake power like that to try to beat me? <laughs> yeah, that's the one thing that you did not hear. Like, if you're not using any of the special weapons, and if you already use one special weapon like the Danger Rat, you'll hear that type of sound. And look at that, we just made it. So now this boss fight is in two stages where I got to use the uh, the wild coil, the combination of wild coil and danger rat. I got to use a triple weapon combination. Wild Coil, Slash Claw, and a Danger Rap. And this is where you gotta get back. Wait for it. Boom. Like that. Remember how you saw that in the intro? During the intro? It was too far. Yeah, it was too far. And there we go. Well, I only did it once, but it didn't do it twice. Cause, cause when I did it on my second attempt, it went blue too far and it went and then boom, it exploded. <laughs> yeah, and it didn't do any damage, unfortunately. But that's okay. Because we're already moving on to YB3.
No, 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 we gotta use the danger wrap. <clears throat> yeah, I can't get it. Switch over to Rush Jet. There we go. And now we grab the the only can never the special the special tank you never seen before. It's the special tank. What it does if you use a special tank, it automatically fills all your weapons, including your health. Just like with the with the good old with an old fashioned master tank from Mega Man Five. This one we're gonna equip the noise crush. Use it like that. Charge it up. Then go there. This is going to be a little bit tricky there. Make sure you got to be quicker though in order to in order if you wanted to charge it up. See if you get hit by that by his rockets, you end up taking massive damage. Make sure you gotta stay far over to the right there. And move, move out of the way so you don't get, so you don't get hit by the bomb. Okay, we're almost there. We're taking a pretty good amount of time. Cause... There you go. Right now we just surpassed an hour of 34 minutes. Get ready for some, for the last one. It's the final stage of Mega Man 7, Wily Stage 4. Now we're doing the refights. First we got we got Freeze Man and I have his weakness, the junk shield. You gotta use like a little as much as possible before he gets the ah and there it goes. <laughs> yeah, it got me frozen solid like over there. Okay, now we got Slash Man. His weakness is 
freeze cracker. See if you see if you get if you get fallen ketchup on you, just press left and right repeatedly to to shake it off. See like that. Too easy as always. We just beat Junk Man because his weak, and I know his weakness was the Thunderbolt for Junk Man. Now we got Cloud Man. His weakness is Danger Rap. Now we got Tober Man. I have his weakness. The noise crush. All it does is it takes like four or five shots to, to take him out. Like that. Yeah, now we got Spring Man. His weakness is a slash claw. Yeah, I couldn't even get rushed to transform into an adapter because Shade Man's got multiple weakness. See? Yeah, because he's got multiple weakness. Both the the wild coil and the super adapter. Like that. Okay. okay, now we got Burst Man. Now I'm gonna introduce his new weakness that I found. The Scorch Wheel. Remember how he got me when when the time when I used the freeze cracker and then and I got caught in his danger wrap, causing me to lose like a couple of minutes. Cause it made me lose like like one or two minutes and make it even longer. 
Yeah, even when the scorch wheel like that, it can also melt these bubbles very easily. Like that. I'm gonna... It's now time for the final battle. This premiere is going to be much, much longer than Mega Man 6. There he is. Got to use Thunderbolt for his first weakness because that's the only weakness you can, he could have. Got to slide through. And there he goes. So you got you. If you see those two skeletons, just use junk shield. Hey, yeah, just use junk shield in order to get rid of him. See when he does that again? Like that. And boom, there you go. That's the first phase. That's Wiring Machine 7. Now here's everyone's biggest nightmare of all. Wiring Capsule 7. Now here's is even more deadlier than the Wiring Machine. Make sure you gotta dodge everything. Cause once you dodge everything, boom! You can't let you can't let anything. Once you get that, boom! You can't let that touch you because because otherwise you might end up taking damage. Cause that was Wily Machine Seven that we just tested. The second phase is worse. Yeah, and you gotta use wild coil. For his second weakness, you gotta use wild coil. But if he's all the way up there, just use a freeze cracker. Because you see, if he's all the way up there, just use freeze cracker. See, now I get, he's gonna make me use freeze cracker again. <laughs> just to And I'm still taking damage. That's the worst part. Well, it's time for me to use a special can. Yeah, because freeze is even more worse. Yeah, I can reach him.
We're getting there. And bam, why are we done for? And why are we defeated for the seventh time? Why are we? Okay, I give up. Sorry about all the trouble. I'll go quietly. I don't trust you, Wiley. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I should have done years ago. <laughs> you forget, Mega Man. Robot cannot harm humans. He's, he's not trusting you, Wiley. You shouldn't have done that. It's all your fault. <laughs> I am more than a robot. <laughs> Die, Wiley. <laughs> Come on, man. Get him. You had, you had your chance. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> he's trapped. Oh boy. Come on, get him, get him. Trouble. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Too late, Mega Man. He who hesitates is lost. We shall return. Uh oh. There goes his fortress collapsing. Oh. Well, there you have it. That's Mega Man 7. Let's watch the ending credits, shall we?
music. <clears throat> Now, folks, if you have made it all the way to the end of this of this premiere, I would absolutely salute you for sticking with me this long. Cause, cause I wouldn't have done it. With, I wouldn't have done the Mega Man Seven premiere without anyone that or that I want to thank them for being. I want to thank everybody else for being patient. And to wait for, for this Mega Man 7 premiere to come out this long because because of what I, what I said because I know what I, even though what I said earlier in the beginning of the premiere because I had to if you saw happen saw my previous videos I that I had to postpone Mega Man 7 premiere on Christmas because I forgot to say including New Year's because because unfortunately I was. I wasn't able to do premiere Mega Man 7 on New Year's Day because unfortunately because of a potential tornado outbreak that happened in the southeast in the United States in the Tennessee Valley that happened on New Year's Day on Saturday. Cause all of these orders I I call were pretty much the most craziest thing I've ever seen. I mean, this to be where we're at in the Tennessee Valley was not as bad as the uh, the Quad States, because because I know the Quad States were the the Quad State tornado outbreak was worse. And it may not look great as possible, but because unfortunately, because because I just postponed Mega Man Seven on Christmas. Because you know what I said earlier in the previous videos, because of a threat of a major tornado outbreak that happened in the Quad States on December 10th, and in an unprecedented severe thunderstorm outbreak, as well as a little tornadoes or something like that, as well as tornado, an unprecedented tornado outbreak that happened in that happened in Nebraska, Iowa. Minnesota and Wisconsin that happened in in December. That's why the Mega Man 7 premiere on Christmas got postponed. Including New Year's Day because because we also have a potential tornado outbreak that happened in the southeastern United States in the Tennessee Valley that happened on December 29th and on New Year's Day. Yeah, because of a major tornado outbreak that happened in the month of December, including New Year's Day. That's why the Mega Man 7 premiere from Christmas and New Year's Day got postponed until now. Because of what happened in the, in the Quad States. and It was pretty sad. Though, because that, that terrifying event that happened in the Quad States was pretty sad and very horrifying. To say the very least, because I would have never thought about that event. Because even though this, the commentary that I made for this premiere was supposed to be back in 2021, but by the time I premiered this on Saturday, January 8th, it is now already 2022. So happy New Year to everybody else there. Uh, and thank you for thank you so much for making me getting close to to 150 subs because I was supposed to, to go live for part four. I was supposed to do a live stream on the 100 subscriber special part four, but I pretty much didn't have the time to do it because because I didn't feel like going going live as much as I expected because. I wouldn't expect anything to hit this milestone. Hopefully the next milestone I'm about to hit was 200 subs. I'm about to hit 200 subs coming up in kind of in some months later. Hopefully before. I don't know if I'll be able to hit 200 subs right before, 
right before my birthday comes, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully I'll be able to reach my goal up to 1,000 subs, so that way people can now start donating, donating money in the, so people can start donating money in the super chat later on once I hit 1,000 subs. So hopefully you can start donating me money whenever you feel like it, so. Just be sure, just be sure that subscribing is 100% free, but you can always change your mind because right at the end of the day, because because right now only a small percentage of you guys are actually subscribed. Because, because, remember what I said, uh, subscribing is 100% free and you can always change your mind right at the end of the day. So this has been a long ride of this has been the most long ride of Mega Man 7 throughout these entire stages. Like Wario Stage 1, 2, 3, and 4 for Mega Man 7. And hopefully, you know, this has been this has been the longest premiere ever by far. Completely surpassing Mega Man 6, surpassing Mega Man 3. Which I thought Mega Man 3 was going to be the longest premiere ever. Right up until then. Right up until then. I came up. I came up with my brain thoughts. And I decided to premiere Mega Man 7 this month. This month on Saturday, January 8th, 2022. So. Guess what? This is what resulted us in making this long premiere. This is, I know, this is a two plus hour premiere. This is a two hour premiere. This is the, this is the first two hour Mega Man premiere since Mega Man 3 back in August 7th, 2021. This is the first Mega Man. This is the first time I've done a two-hour Mega Man premiere for Mega Man 7 since Mega Man 3 with one hour 33 minutes back in August 7, 2021. Now Mega Man 7 has came out on top for two hours, two plus hour premiere for Mega Man 7. And guess what? This is what resulted resulted us in it from from making the longest premiere ever for Mega Man Seven. Because I wouldn't have done it without anyone's help there. I would not have made the longest premiere on anything. I know why this premiere is so already so long because of the the cutscenes that you just saw. Right from the beginning. Right after I started Mega Man 7. Right in the middle of the premiere. And don't forget to remember. And just remember folks. Uh, that the virus is still out there. If you want the virus to go away. Make sure you got to get back. You got to get the vaccines. Make sure you get the vaccines already. Get two vaccines. Make in order to get fully vaccinated, you gotta wait for like a long eight months. You gotta wait for a very long eight months in order to get the flu shot and the booster. That's your protection. Make sure you get the make the get the flu shot and the booster after you get two vaccines for for eight months. Because after you get two vaccines, wait for eight months, then get the flu shot and the booster. That's your only protection in order to get out, in order to survive, in order to get out of the pandemic. Once you're going out in the public, make sure you practice still, make sure you still got to keep on practice social distancing when you're going out in public. Make sure you got to wear a face mask if you need to, because because that's your only protection. Because make sure you got to wear, you got to wear a face mask when you're out, when you're going out in public places. 
and plus in order to keep yourself safe in order to protect your life from getting affected by the virus plus you gotta stay healthy that's what I'm telling you guys plus you need to plus stay healthy because that's what I'm telling you guys you all better stay healthy So, anyways, man, I cannot even put it into words like how long this premiere was. I know this has been long. I know why this premiere is so long because I still got something more to. I still got something more to say. I will be doing a Mega Man Eight premiere once I get the Mega Man Legacy Collection Two. Along with the PS4. Or if I could. Or better. I could probably use the. Yeah. Because I think about getting that PS4. And uh, Mega Man Legacy Collection 2. For the PS4. So I'm. Because my goal is to show all the Mega Man series. Such as Mega Man 8. Mega Man 9. And Mega Man 10. But don't forget. Mega Man 8 will come out until I receive a present until I get a birthday present of me getting a PS4 including Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 that's what I'll be getting for my birthday because I was supposed to get it on Christmas on December 25th on Christmas of 2021 but unfortunately I cannot get it because because unfortunately, last year is also the worst year. And that's my opinion. Because last year is also the worst year ever. Just like 2020. 2020. 2020, that year was bad. But last year, 2021, is hundreds of times worse. But however... We shall end the pandemic together on for this year, 2022. Like I said earlier, we shall get out of this pandemic together. So hopefully we can survive. So hopefully when the virus has gone away, we can possibly throw a party. I don't know what to do if I if, if the virus goes away because I might throw a I might throw a COVID nineteen go away party live stream if I can if I feel like it then I might do it because when when if the virus goes away when so anyways hope you guys enjoy it so I hope you guys enjoyed this two plus hour premiere. I know I have had a very long, con I had a very long conversation to say in this throughout this com the whole entire community. So hope you guys enjoyed this two-hour plus premiere of Mega Man Seven. So leave a like on it down below and make sure to comment and subscribe, and don't forget to click on the notification bell to get the latest content of my videos. In order to see my latest video ever throughout the entire community. This is Christian signing off.